Hey IQ Ninjas, and welcome to this Quantum Blackboard video. Winning a Nobel Prize is the dream of any scientist. There have been 585 prizes awarded to 892 people and 24 organizations in five categories. Physics, Chemistry, Medicine, Literature, and Peace. Not counting the, the spheres, ricks, spheres, 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 ricks, spheres, ricks, spheres, in economic sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel. Famous Nobel Prize winners include Albert Einstein, Mother Teresa, and Martin Luther King Jr. Yet there, in all of history, have only been four individuals to win more than one Nobel Prize. They constitute the Double Nobel Club. The first person to win two Nobels is Marie Curie. She received the 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics along with her husband Pierre Curie and Henri Becquerel for their work with radiation. She later won the 1911 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for her discoveries of radium and polonium. While her husband Pierre had helped her on both, he had died in 1906 after tripping in the street and being trampled by a horse-drawn cart, and the Nobel Prize cannot be awarded posthumously. Interestingly enough, because the Nobel Prize cannot be awarded after death, there was no Nobel Peace Prize awarded in 1948, as the planned candidate Mahatma Gandhi had died earlier that year, and the Nobel Committee stated there was no suitable living candidate. Bonus facts with QB. The second person to be awarded two Nobels, and the only to have both be awarded to him and him alone, was Linus Pauli. He was awarded the 1954 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work on radiation, and as the Cold War escalated, he was awarded the 1962 Nobel Peace Prize for his work to slow progression of development of nuclear arms. After that, though, he slid off into the deep end. He started recommending to the public to consume upwards of 18,000 milligrams of vitamin C every day. He started making claims that it could cure snake bites, AIDS, cancer, and colds. He stated it could lengthen lives by 35 years and stop all diseases. Pauling went on to die of prostate cancer, and we now know that vitamin C does nothing to stop a cold and not much anything else, except for scurvy. Bonus facts with QB. The third person to win two Nobel Prizes is a man named John Bardeen. He won both his awards in physics. He developed the transistor, which would win him the 1956 Physics Nobel along with William B. Shockley. Then he started studying superconductors, and for his Bardeen Cooper Schreifer theory of superconductivity, he won his second Nobel in physics in 1972. Superconductors, which are materials that can conduct electricity with zero resistance or magnetic release, have developed into their own state of matter. You can watch a little bit about these in QB's second and third most watched videos, What are the Five States of Matter and the Bose-Einstein Condensate. Bonus Facts with QB The last person to win two Nobel Prizes is Frederick Sanger. He won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1958 for determining the amino acid sequence of the protein insulin, and he won the Chemistry Nobel again in 1980 for developing a method to read DNA. It should also be mentioned that two organizations have received more than one Nobel Prize. The Red Cross has received three Nobel Peace Prizes, and the High Commissioner of the United Nations for Refugees has received two. Bonus Facts with QB Watching this video has probably inspired you to go and win a Nobel Prize. If you're going to do so, you're going to need to learn quite a lot. And you can do so here on Quantum Blackboard. Give us a sub, a like, some views, and we'll continue to deliver awesome educational content that will help you achieve that noble goal. Thanks for watching.